With the thriving and competitive market of today, it's not surprising to know that almost everyone is dying to get everyone's attention. From viral gimmicks to major collaborations, everyone's doing everything to stand out. And while these tactics seem great, they can only take people so far. Fortunately enough, there's one footprint solution that's been around for ages, branding. And today, we're here to convince you that you don't need those quirky stunts to leave an impression. Hey guys, welcome to Creative. Here we use our passion for the game to change the game. And every week we talk about solutions that can truly change the business of sports. Revolutionizing the game. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything else. Nine years ago, young basketball prodigy Jordan McCabe appeared on The Ellen Show after he went viral for his handling skills. Right after his appearance, he was able to watch an NBA All-Star game. Since then, basketball fans expected big things from the young prodigy, thinking he would be the next superstar. But unfortunately, the kid had trouble keeping his game up as he grew older. And soon enough, fans realized that maybe things have changed since he was 12. Despite the other winning stories around going viral, Jordan's story is not rare. Sometimes being viral just ends up not enough for solid success, especially if you don't follow it up with some great work. But as we've mentioned earlier, there's a long-term strategy for success, branding, so let's talk about it. When asked, there are business owners who answer that it's all about logos, color schemes, and typefaces. Are they wrong? Not entirely, but there's not entirely right either. See, there's a misconception surrounding branding. Common folk think it's just the visuals of a company, Nike swoosh, Apple's logo, and the Coca-Cola's typeface, but in reality, it's so much more. Branding is defined as the process of creating a name, symbol, or design that identifies and di differentiates a business from its competitors. Branding is all about discovering who your business really is, who it wants to be, how it wants to be seen by your audience, it's the process of creating a personality for your business so that people can connect with you. Why does it matter? Well, while viral gimmicks may seem like a great idea today, its success is often short-lived. But with branding, it's a long-term strategy that leaves a lasting impression on consumers. Just take a look at brands we've mentioned earlier. Coke, Nike, Apple, all took their time developing their brand. Now people can easily tell it's them just by their logo or their colors. Aside from this, consumers often reported enhanced customer experiences with them. Now that we finally figured out what branding really is, it's safe to say that creating one is probably a painstaking process, but luckily you have us. We've divided the process into two major parts, building and planning, as well as integrating and maintaining. Starting on the first half of the process, the building and planning stage serves as the pillar of your brand. And just like everything else in business, start with research. Look into your competitors' brands and see what they're offering to the public. This will give you a better idea on how you can position yourself to the mind of your audience. Hone in on the unique qualities of your brand. This will help you stand out against your competitors. Afterwards. Spend some time knowing your target market. One of the common mistakes newbie business owners make is that they don't do enough research on their consumers. Failure to do so can easily impact your branding. Create a buyer persona for your general audience and it will serve as your guide to creating a product as well as developing marketing strategies for them. Once you've covered all the research that you need, you can now start planning. Without the right planning, chances are your brand will not thrive. So take your time brainstorming ideas with your team. Think about the message your brand wants to convey to its target consumers and start writing your brand's mission statement. Afterwards, you can brainstorm your brand's logo, its overall color schemes, in your brand language. Keep your tone and your voice in check. Your language must be perceived as a friendly and welcoming to your people. When you've done all of the prep, 
you need for the brand, you can start integrating it into your business. Branding doesn't end with just slapping your logos and name on everything. It's supposed to be a constant process of your business personifying its mission and promise to consumers and for people to truly recognize your brand amongst the sea of competition. You must be consistent from the colors down to the promises. If you lined up Nike, Apple, and Coca-Cola along one another, you could see that they share one thing in common, consistency. Each brand delivers its promises flawlessly and each of them delivers cohesive messaging. Regardless of their new campaign or the new product they are releasing, the messages they are sending to their consumers are one with what their brand stands for. Just take a look at Nike's several ad campaigns. In order for you to achieve great branding, you must be consistent through and through from the colors of the logo down to how you serve your customers. As we've mentioned earlier, the industry is growing more competitive by the day. And while it seems like going viral is the best way to go, the hype doesn't last as long as people like. Just take a look at what happened to Young Jordan. Investing on branding is the best way to go. It produces great lasting results that will help you commit your place in the market. If you wanna learn more about the pros of great branding, we've linked our original blog post below and if you need some help, we hope you guys love today's video. And if you want to learn more about the great solutions that can change the game, don't forget to check out our website and we'll see you next time. This is Zach with Creative, where business is our sport. <laughs>